These outcrops on the Barati Gulf in Tuscany display some great sedimentary geology, described in a paper by Joris Igenhusen and others. These sandstones are turbidites, the deposits of deep marine turbidity currents. Some of these sandstones are amalgamated, which means they're the products of several distinct flows, flows that have eroded the seabed. And we can examine how this occurs. This is Joris's log of the strata in this section. Well, there's some pretty thick sandstones in this succession here, aren't there? Which were presumably deposited by some pretty energetic and large turbidity currents. So let's take a look at the base of this one here and its relationship to the underlying rather finer grain material down in here. Well, with my grain size card, I can do a little profile up through here and I can see that we've got in this Lower section, some fine, fine sand pretty much up through here. There's a little slightly darker layer in here, which is, yeah, very fine sand. But then, wow, what's this? Goodness me, that's top medium to, to, to bottom and coarse sand, this layer in here. Yeah, some coarse sand coming in. And then here we go, and there's the erosive base, slightly gently erosive base of the upper sand, which is course. So that's really strange. We've got the little skinny layers, they're only about a centimetre thick, of outsized coarser sand grade than the surrounding sediment. I'm just going to try and trace it out and see where it goes. So here we go into the shade through here. It's a bit dark but we still trace it along. Oh it's a bit discontinuous but it's still, there we go, no, it's thickening up, thickening up thickening up, oh look, it joins up with the upper sand. So it looks like it's been connected in from the top sandstone. How does that work? Well, what about the structure of the sands on top? The upper sandstone has banked over the injection features. Elsewhere, we can see blocks of the finer grained lower deposit entrained and smeared out into the overlying sand. The injection and mobilisation of the sand coming down into the thinner bedded finer grained material underneath must have happened as the flow was passing over the top. In other words, it's been syringed down as the substrate has been peeled up by the coupling of the overriding turbidity current, sucking in sand and injecting it along the fractures that are accommodating the flap being lifted up. So erosion can involve the turbidity current coupling shear into the substrate so that blocks are ripped up into the flow. Here, the beginnings of the process are frozen in action, but elsewhere, the finest substrate can be completely removed. And we've got these dune scale bed forms in the sandstone on top. In other words, the flow passing over the deforming substrate felt that deformation and started building a bed form out as the flow migrated over the top. And eventually we return to reasonably simple uh, banding and lamination as the deposit simply upgrades on top and all that seabed deformation is buried and swamped as the turbidity current dumps its load across the seabed. These Barati outcrops are excellent places to understand 
deep marine erosional processes preserved in the geological record.